Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Hit Parade Baseball Sapphire Edition Series 3, 10 box random team break number one. Series 3 also happens to be all license edition as well. Very big thanks to this group. I know this has been marinating on the site for a little bit, but thanks for everyone's, um, for everyone's patience. I appreciate it. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up and congrats to the people who won their spots in those four uh, signature series boxes that we did. So congrats to you again. All 30 teams are in. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Names and teams, one and a four, five times each. One, two, three, four, and five. After five, we got Luis all the way down to Eugene. One and a four, five times for the baseball teams. One, two, three, four, and one more time, right? Yeah, fifth and final time. After five, we've got the Giants down to the Cardinals. All right, Luis with the Giants. Dave with the Rangers. Logan with the Marlins. Christopher with the Mariners. Chris Walker with the Brewers. Logan with the Rays. Jamie with the Nationals. Nancy with the Red Sox. Chad with the Diamondbacks. Roger with the Royals. Pascal with the Rockies. Eric Clicks with the Reds. James with the spot that you won. The Guardians. Travis with the Astros. Jimmy with the spot that he won as well. Cubs. A lot of people winning spots. Eugene with the Padres. Michael with the Yankees with the spot you got straight up. Nicholas with the, Red, uh, with the Mets. James, last spot mojo, Orioles. Brian, you got the Twins. Eric with the Blue Jays. Michael with the White Sox. Joe with the Braves. Brian with the A's. Jimmy with the Tigers and Pirates. Aaron, you got my Dodgers. Jimmy with the Angels. Eugene with the Phillies and the Cardinals. Trade window is open, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, alphabetize by team here. We're going to pause the video just for a little bit, open up that trade window. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There was a lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So the list right here remains the same. Maybe a handful of people with some, some try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to find them in this product here, Logan. All right, there it is. Once again, series three, all license edition. And if, uh, if you're not too familiar with all the different sort of tiers, different levels of, uh, of Hit Parade, they have limited edition, which is their base tier. Then uh, platinum, I think is their middle tier. And then um, sapphire is their is their top tier of the products that they regularly release. Now within those tiers, I think they do different variations. Like there may be all autograph editions or all rookie editions. We've also seen them do like special editions like Emerald, et cetera, et cetera. But, but for the most part, Sapphire is generally kind of the higher, the highest level. So what does that mean? Probably see more high valued cards. more graded card possibilities as well. So this one's specifically all license edition. You do a pretty good job. All right, good luck everybody. What's up Joe Pizzle? Yeah, all, all sorts of all sorts of different levels, and then variations within those levels. Sapphire has more graded card opportunities, which I also like. And the first one here is gonna be Luis Robert. Five out of 50, rookie, PSA 10. Who's got the White Sox? That's gonna be, it's gonna be Michael, Michael Kaufman with that one.
That's with a spot that he won in the um, the most recent filler. <laughs> right. Was there any danger of the uh, the Rapture Eclipse? It wasn't like Y2K. People realize that eclipses happen all over the world, right? Every day? <laughs> Another graded card. It is Adley Rushman. James with the Orioles. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. 20, he was, he was looking for a Seattle, so it was a worthy chase, maybe for Julio's, but here's an Adley, 2023 Bowman Chrome, National Edition. PSA 9, you got the autograph there as well. 23 out of 50 on the number. Oh, how is this eclipse different? This one created an X on North America. Oh, okay. I see. I was, I for one was not worried at all, Joe. Another graded card. It's gonna be, it's Bryce Harper, but Phillies edition. 2022 tops, luminaries, centering, edges, corner, surface, all a 9.5, and a 10 on the autograph. Phillies, Eugene with the fight and fills. Five out of 15. That's pretty strong. This one went the other way, so the, supposedly the rapture would be the center of the, of the X. Oh, because one had that and one went this way. Oh, I, I see, I see. Who, who, can, who comes up with this? Jimmy was in an airplane during, he, he thought it was coming down. But just because it got dark? You know what happened in Santa Monica? It got dark a little bit, like a cloud had passed across the sun. And then it was fine. <laughs> All right, we have, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, wow, this is a nice one, but it's gonna be one happy person, one sad person. Wow. Cal Ripken Jr. And Tony Gwynn, dual autograph. <sighs> R.I.P. Tony Gwynn. I mean, you don't, you don't see a lot of Tony Gwynn autos. <sighs> Orioles, James, Eugene, Padres. We'll set that aside. We'll make someone happy. Uh, and make someone sad. Nor I, Jimmy. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that for the Dumbos to fall for that sort of stuff. But I'd like to know the origins of that. How, do you think someone randomly posts on Twitter, like, since this one eclipse went this way, the other went that way, where it intersects is the rapture, and then people are like, yeah, sure, I'm into it. And then they go with it? Or do you think there's like a... Is there like a, an eclipse cult from the last time it was in North America? And then they started this cult and they say the next one that goes across this way, end days, end times. How does that come up? Ooh, case hit. I'm glad they start, do, they start doing this now so we know that we're getting a case hit. So we're gonna save that to the end. That's what I'm saying. I mean, there's, we've already pulled some nice stuff that aren't on the sell sheet. Just think about that. Next time we post some Hit Parade, especially Sapphire Edition, just remember how nice it was. Might be able to get this across the finish line a little bit more quickly.
All right, another graded card. And we've got Drew Jones, 2023 Drew Jones, Chrome Prospect Auto, Andrew's Kid, PSA 10. Chad won that spot, got the Diamondbacks, gets this, uh, this prospect. Second overall pick. I feel like had a up and down start to his pro career in 2023, but hopefully 2024 ends up being a lot better for him. Let's definitely hold on to that one for sure. Jimmy's asking, what was the show like 15 years ago where everyone fell asleep for like five minutes but saw the future in that dream? And you remember this show? Lost? Wasn't Lost all a dream? Oh, Injuries. Joe Pizzle's a Diamondbacks. Oh, so it was Injuries that, that derailed his first year. So hopefully he's healthy. That's what we need to see. That'll be good for the hobby. JJ's asking, is it, is it a Goosebumps show? Maybe Are You Afraid of the Dark? Here, Jordan Walker from Sapphire. 10 out of 150 rookie auto for the Cardinals. Uh, that's going to go to Eugene with the Redbirds. It was on NBC and had one of the hobbits from Harry Potter in it. One of those hobbits was also in Lost. Was it Merry or Pippin? I wouldn't be able to tell, tell you the difference. <laughs> Not idly do the leaves of Lorien fall, Jimmy. Michael Kaufman wanted some Yankees. Here it is. Dual relic. You got a piece of the lumber on card autograph. Four out of 15. All rise. Aaron Judge. There you go, Michael. Congrats. Calling the shot there. Wait, he meant Lord of the Rings, by the way, Logan. Clearly, Jimmy's into that sort of stuff. Or maybe he meant one of the, the house elf, Dobby, from Harry Potter. Unless he means Professor Flitwick. We shouldn't call him a hobbit, though. I feel like well, you're not allowed to say that. Might be offensive. Might get canceled calling Professor Flitwick at Hobbit. All right, next up is another Cardinal, Albert Pujols. Golden Greats, four out of 10, passing the man. Stand the man? Yeah. Eugene, another Cardinal. It's been a nice case. We still, we still have the case hit right here. And then I gotta make one person happy and one person sad. Whoa, two case hits? I feel bad if there's another case out there in the world that's shorted a case hit. All right, which case hit should I do first? We'll let the die decide. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. One, we'll do that case hit first. How many case hits are in the picture? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It can happen. It was the left side, Joe Pizzo. He called it. This is why people wanted to trade for this team. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Highlighting the 2021 MLB All-Star Game. Piece of the baseball and his autograph. Four out of five. Eric Clicks with the special event baseball leather card. Look how thick it is. Won a spot in one of our fillers, got randomized to Blue Jays. Eric Clicks wasn't watching live. Hi, Eric. You're, you're watching the replay right now, but a lot of people wanted to trade for the Blue Jays. Out of five. Means a train whistle as well. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's strong. Real strong. All right. And we were lucky enough to get a second case hit. Got a graded card here. And people were trying to trade for this team, too. There's Julio Rodriguez, Red Ink Autograph, PSA 9. A real one autograph, which are pretty hard to hit in Heritage. Let alone getting a top name like this. Seattle, Christopher Eady with the Seattle Mariners. Congrats, very nice hit, very strong. And that's the break, ladies and gentlemen. This, this was marinating on our, on our website, jazpiececasebreaks.com for, for a little bit, but I'm, I'm happy we finally got it done. All right, now, unfortunately, I have to make one person happy and one person sad. All right. Let's go back to random.org. Let's get some new dice. Let's get a clean list here. We've got the Baltimore Orioles up there and the San Diego Padres down there. Let's roll it, randomize it. Three and a four, seven times. Team on top gets that card after seven. Fingers crossed. Good luck. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Goes to Baltimore, San Diego, Eugene. My apologies to you, but appreciate you getting in the break. But congrats to James Lastbot Mojo, Baltimore Orioles. The Cal Ripken Jr. Tony Grin, Tony Gwynn, Dual Ink Auto from an old Donner's Signature Series set. Maybe early 2000s. Congrats, man. Congrats. Thanks for getting in the break. Appreciate you. Appreciate everybody who got in. Not everyone's going to hit, but... But I appreciate, but it, I mean, breaks like this, Hit Parade, well worth, uh, you know, well worth taking a shot. So next time you see some Hit Parade show up on our, on our site, especially Sapphire Edition, I know it's pricey, but I mean, you got to give it a shot, right? Chase hits like that. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next Hit Parade break. Bye-bye.